Five Words Work. Five words to know in English. With your host, David Corcoran. Hello and welcome to this episode of Why Words Work, where really we are looking at your overall communication, not just a combination of words, but how you say them, how you use them, whether you focus on making them long or short, how you inject them, these words, into your sentences, phrases, and how you use them in life. And what's really important from my perspective is that when we think about your communication, it's all of these things. It's a combination of gesture, facial expression, the words that we use and how we use them. And of course, bringing emotional intelligence to what we're doing as well. So we've got five more words for you to consider today. And these are all building on words that we've had in the past. And maybe you've checked out some of our guest episodes as well. Very powerful to invite people on to Why Words Work. And if you'd like to be a guest, please do get in touch with me via YouTube or via LinkedIn, where you can connect with me. And let's see what words are meaningful and making up a, making a difference in your life. But here are five more from me to you today. So our first word is pleasure, enjoyment, happiness or satisfaction or something that gives this. So we often think of pleasure as in uh, alcohol or um, other activities that are pleasurable. But it's also just thinking about those small daily pleasures. I would ask you to think about what gives you pleasure in the work that you do. As a voice coach and a language and communication coach, I really love working with people and seeing their change and development that can happen. That gives me pleasure to know that they're developing in the right direction, a sense of satisfaction that I can impart something to others. What about care? The process of protecting someone or something and providing what that person or thing needs. Care. Do you speak with care? Do you use your words with care? One thing I could encourage you to do is say your name with care. Give it as a gift, as Roger Love says. Don't throw it around or throw it away uh, in an introduction. Really give the gift of your name with a sense of care. But also care in your communication. Develop yourself. Develop your words, your language, your ability to listen to others and to show up with a sense of care. Prudence. Behavior that is careful and avoids risks. Now, this was from the Destiny Cards pack, and it's not a word that we might use all that often, but acting with prudence can often be useful in our lives as well. We, we do face risk on a regular and daily basis. We think about looking left and right when we cross the road, but also thinking about how can you show prudence in your communication as well. So, it doesn't mean that we have to be overly calculated, but we do need to consider how can we be uh, careful and avoiding risk, saying things that we don't necessarily mean or speaking in a manner perhaps that's not as inviting as it could be. Initiative, a new plan or process to achieve something or solve a problem. We often say, wow, he shows great initiative or what a good initiative that is, that new project or idea. And certainly we're handed new ideas all the time. But initiative, as it says, is really the plan, the process to achieve something that we want to focus on as well. So by going through the steps, uh, for some of us, that can be more difficult than, than, it's, than it appears because uh, we, we work in a less structured way. But using your initiative, then we can go through to solve a problem as well. And looking at things from a new perspective with new ideas. So the initiative may be to include a diverse range of voices on a particular problem. Diligence, the quality of working carefully and with a lot of effort, diligence. So notice these other words, working carefully with a lot of effort, being diligent in the task. So if you are preparing projects, if you are looking at how you can structure something, doing that carefully. So I have a spreadsheet of all of my words, so I make sure I don't reuse the same words that maybe I've presented before, for instance, and it requires a little bit of effort. But by being diligent, I can deliver to you five new words each time we meet together. So our five words in summary are pleasure, care, prudence, initiative, and diligence. I can also say them quicker. Pleasure, care, prudence, initiative, diligence.
notice that we can play with words. And what I want you to do in understanding why words work is really play with these words and find out for yourself how they resonate with you, how they sound in your voice with, with what you need to do in your life. And can you apply these words in a really positive way? That's the whole purpose behind why words work. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Why words work. Five words to know in English.